Hey guys, I'm here to teach you how to make a TechIt bucket server so that you can have any of your friends you want to join whenever you want. And it's really easy, you don't have to do any of that port forwarding stuff. All you need to do is download this file, TechIt server 3.1.2 file. And I got the link in the description for that. And you're going to need WinRAR and you're going to need Tungle, just so that you don't have to do port forwarding. And so let's get started. So first off, you're gonna have to go and download this, the TechIt server 3.1.2, and that is going to be on technicpack.net. And once you get here, you're gonna go to TechIt right here, and then after that, it's going to after my computer stops lagging or freezing up, it's going to take you to a page where the download link is, and I'll put it in the description, and. It is right. Gosh, sorry guys, my computer's really laggy because I have a bunch of windows open. It's right here. You're gonna download this one. Download the Ticket Server 3.1.2, and it's gonna take you. Or actually, it's just gonna download it right here, and you're just gonna show in folder and then or save it to your desktop. But I already have it, so I'm canceling it. So after that, you're going to want to make a new folder on your desktop. Name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Ticket. Just because I have a folder in the ticket server right here somewhere right here for my other ticket server, and what you want to do is you want to open that. You're going to want to open this too, and you're going to want to drag and drop everything in from here in to here, and that will just take a second to process. And whenever that's done, you're going to want to go down the tungle. I'll show you how to do that in a sec. And basically, that's just what's going to help you run the server so your friends can join. Your friends are going to have to have Tungle too. So you're going to click this thing that says launch with little gears next to it. And that's basically what you're going to use to run the server. And it's just you're just going to let it run. And it's going to load up all this stuff into this file or this folder. So let's go to the Tungle thing. So we're going to go down the Tungle. I'll put the link in the description for this too. You're going to click this thing right here that's in red. It says Tungle Download and you're going to let that load up and then uh, hold up okay so it takes you to this page it's a bunch of flag and symbols and stuff and you're going to want to go down here right here and you want to click this thing that says download file um, don't click the one that's down here there's another one down here somewhere right here don't click this one. Oh gosh don't click this one Make sure you click the one up here. So, hold up a sec. Alright, so you're going to click this. And then it'll take you to a page. And there's not going to be anything on that page, but a bunch of just random crap that you don't need to like worry about. And then after about five seconds, your download will start. Your download is starting, it will say. There'll be a bunch of advertising stuff. And then after like five seconds, it'll pop up here. Or... A little while after you do this it'll pop up down here right there and you'll save that to your desktop I already have it obviously because it's right down here so you're not gonna need anything else I'll put that link in the description once this gets done I'll show you what to do after that so on Tungle you want to go and open it up you'll, you'll install it and all that and there'll be this little box that pops up here you're gonna want to search Minecraft and you can pick any of these servers, but don't pick the ones that have like mods in them. So like Minecraft, RU, or any of these things that have these little numbers next to them. And you're going to double click that and join. And then after that, you can just minimize this. Actually, you're going to want to write down this IP right here. The virtual IP, you're going to want to write that down somewhere. So after that, you're going to want to go into Ops, the Ops folder. And you're going to write your name in there. And you're going to want to exit out and save. And then don't worry about any of this crap. It just don't worry about it. Just type in op and then whatever your name is again in here. And it'll be an op and cleaner. And you'll click type in stop to stop the server running. Just so that you can change a bunch of settings real quick. And then that will take a sec. Just for the first time. Okay, so you want to go to this file. It says server. And it has this little notepad next to it. If it doesn't have the notepad, right click and click open with and then notepad. And you want to go, you're going to want to get that Tungle IP. And 
Mine's down here. I'll type it in. So yours will be different than mine. So it's seven dot forty five dot one three four dot two four four. And then you want to exit out and save. And then you minimize this. Always keep that open. And then you're gonna want to close that. And then you're gonna want to launch it again. And you're gonna want to open up your tech it. Mine, I already have mine open, so just open that up. Open this up, tech it. And once it finishes loading all the stuff, you can just go into it and you can just start playing. Your friends are gonna have to have Tungle too, and then you're gonna wanna join the same server. You guys are both wanna you're gonna wanna join this one, so like he would have to be in Minecraft HR with me to join my server. Just because there's no port forwarding in it. So once you do that, you go to multiplayer, click add server, and you type in that your IP, that thing that you typed in. Mine's right here, 7.45.134.244. And once this says done right there, you're going to want to come over here. And you're going to want to just, you just want to go to the server. And by the way, if you want to see all the commands, just type in help. And you can see all the commands right now for the server. So, yeah. So basically, I'm in my server now. I'm, I'm really laggy just because I'm videoing. Okay, so I can type in like slash game mode McFleener1. And it changes my game mode to creative if I typed it in right. I'll just type it in. Just game mode McFleener. And it'll turn me into creative. Sorry, Game of McFlynn 1 will turn me into creative mode. You can do whatever you want. You can add plugins like World Edit and stuff like that. So, thanks guys. That's, that's pretty much it. You can have your friends join. You can do World Edit. You can do any. You can add plugins. You can make your own server. And if you could port forward, which I can't do that just because I don't know my password to my router. But, it, like, you can make a server and then you can just start getting money if you wanted to have a donor thing for it. So, or donation thing for having your server. So, yeah, I hope this guy I hope this helped you guys out and um if you have any more questions, just post them in the comments and I'll answer them. Thanks. Bye.